just watching another pimple popper video. Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping in to my shack for a ham shack chat. This time we're going to be taking a look at making grid tracker, WSJTX, and the HRD logbook work together seamlessly. Of course, of the three, the HRD logbook is paid software. Cough it up, pay the piper. But the same principles can be applied for a number of other loggers, which are available for free and which we will briefly discuss during the video. Now, the prerequisite for this video is to have successfully connected WSJTX between your rig and your computer. In other words, you've been working FT8. This particular video is radio agnostic. Even though I will be using my FT991A during it, if you glance down to the video description, I've listed several videos that I've made that discuss how to set up WSJTX with my FT891, FT991A, and TS890S. If you don't use any of those rig, that's okay. A quick search on YouTube will almost certainly bring up videos that do the same thing. If you have any questions, suggestions, or just general remarks, please leave them in the comment. It's not really a secret. Now let's see how we can make these three separate programs work together. The three programs that we're going to have working together are WSJTX over here, Grid Tracker over here, and buried underneath my call roster, is the HRD logbook. Please note that although I'm using HRD logbook, which is paid software, there are a number of other online and downloadable free QSO log programs available, which will be discussed in a further video, but I'll list them right here for now. The method used between these three programs to exchange data is called UDP. The UDP or User Datagram Protocol is a communication system used across the internet for especially time sensitive transmissions. We're going to be bouncing between all three of these programs to show the setup to get them talking together and we're going to start with Grid Tracker. To open the settings on Grid Tracker, click this icon right here. It looks like a couple gears working together. And we're going to be in the General tab. First, we're going to verify the application status right up here. And this is going to show us the UDP address that we're going to need for data exchange. And we're going to make sure that the port number is the same down here the port number of this receive UDP messages. Now we're going to jump into our HRD logger, which I've popped up down here. We're going to go to tools, configure, and we're just going to have to float over that one. Come over here and select QSO forwarding. Under UDP receive, we're going to check fill in missing fields on receive and look up missing fields on receive. And down here, we're going to click receive QSO notifications using UDP from other applications, WSJTX. Under that, we're going to enter my receive port, which is the standard used by HRD logbook. If you're using another logger, you might find something different. Popping up Back up here to the General tab, we'll note that the forward UDP messages, we want to make sure the IP is this right here, and that the port number in our case is 2333, which we also have down here. Finally, we're going into the heart of the system, which is our WSJTX. We want to go to File and Settings. We want to go to our Reporter tab, which is right here. You want to have Prompt Me to Log QSO checked. In the Network Services window, you want Enable PSK selected. Under UDP Server, 
We want to make sure that this information here is the same as this information here, 127.0.0.1 and 2240. You want to accept UDP request and notify on accepted UDP request. Under the secondary UDP server, you want to check enable log contact ADIF broadcast. So what's going to happen is your WSJTX, once a log is actually entered, will send out an ADI file that will be integrated across everybody here. At this point, these three programs, WSJTX, Grid Tracker, and HRD Logbook should be working together like a well-oiled machine. Before we get into the demo, if you're enjoying this so far, or at least finding it somewhat informational, please take a moment and pop that thumbs up icon to give me a like. Did you like us? Of course you did. For this demo, I'm going to respond to two QSOs using Grid Tracker's call roster. The call roster is reading everything over here that's coming in as a CQ and displaying it here. The nice thing about the call roster is that you can sort it by DB level. So I'm seeing my best signal right up here on top. When I click on a call over here, it will send a UDP command to WSJTX, which will then complete the call process and give me the log entry pop-up. I'll respond to that, which will then close the pop-up and enter it into the logbook. You'll be able to see all of these things happening in real time. And when I actually respond to a, a CQ, you'll see my PSK reporter starting to come up. I'm located in this orange block right here. So let's get started. And that's how you interconnect WSJTX, Grid Tracker, and the HRD logbook. We're working together! Keep your eyes open for the next video where I'll discuss the links between these three programs and Logbook of the World. I'll show you a couple of different ways of sending your QSO into Logbook of the World and receiving info back. Please share! It's more fun! this video with your friends and cohorts in the ham radio community especially on social media until the next hey y'all 73 this has been a ham shack chat and i continue to be in your service i'm tom nd3n and i am out